Well, tensions remain high in Omaha today after a decision by the Douglas County attorney not to press charges against a business owner who shot and killed a protester over the weekend. Brian Master has more and a warning. Some of the video you're about to see might be disturbing to some. Saturday night, Old Market bar owner Jake Gardner, shown here in a gray t-shirt, shot and killed 22-year-old James Skurlock during a 20-second scuffle on the ground. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says he's looked at all the evidence available and determined the shooting was self-defense. After three days of protests, two of which were violent, he knew the decision would be unpopular. It can't be based on emotions, it can't be based on anger, it can't be based on any of those things. But I would hope that this great community that we live in uh, will be able to get through this. Here's what the video shows. The bar owner's 68-year-old father violently shoved to the ground by one of the protesters. His son, Jake Gardner, tries to figure out who did it. One point he showed this group the gun in his waistband. Oh, he got a gun on There's James Skurlock in the black t-shirt, who had been seen breaking windows at another business nearby on a security camera as part of the protest. Shortly after this point, two people jump on the bar owner's back. There's a struggle in the street. Jake Gardner fires two shots. Eleven seconds later, James Skurlock jumps on the back of the bar owner. They wrestle in the street. He said that the initial shots by his version of events, again, this is his version, were warning shots to get somebody off of his back, that the other individual then jumped on him or attacked him, that he's doing a chokehold on him, that he begged and pleaded for this person to get off. The person was trying to get at the gun, he thought. He thought he was in, in danger of losing his life or some serious bodily injury, and so he fired that shot in self-defense.